Somebody I said, praise the Lord. I'm grateful to God we're here tonight. And this is going to be... a crusade of soaring above in Jesus' name. Higher above. Greater above. Beyond any problem, beyond any challenge, the power of God will reach you anywhere you are hearing tonight in Jesus' name. Before I came, I've been praying, I've been seeking the face of the Lord. And the Lord has given me assurance that everything you want, everything you need, the Lord is going to provide in your life in Jesus' name. I want you to raise your voice to the Lord and pray and say, Lord, I'm here today. And whatever is the problem or challenge in my life, today as I soar above, there will be solution to my problem. Raise your voice to the Lord and pray. Amen. Everybody has said amen. amen. Our Father, we thank you tonight. We have come and you are ready for us. Heaven is ready and everything is prepared for everyone. Amen. We're asking, Lord, that tonight you move in an unprecedented manner in Jesus' name. Amen. And we pray, Lord, Miracle of Bible proportion. Amen. The miracle of the old covenant, of the new covenant, New Testament, Old Testament, everything you did for your people in days and years, century gone by. Today, you will reproduce in every life in Jesus' name. Amen. Break every chain. Amen. Destroy every work of the devil. I will pray, Lord, incurable diseases will be cured in Jesus' name. And hardened sinners will rush to Calvary. They'll be saved in Jesus' name. We're asking, Lord, the torch of heaven will be upon every life tonight. We well, thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. There's an amen in your life already. Yeah. You can see now, God bless you. All those who are connected with us in all the states and all the regions and everywhere in our country, Nigeria, and beyond Nigeria, anywhere you are, as the message comes to you tonight, Miracle follows the message in Jesus' name. Amen. And remember tonight is crusade night. It's not the regular teaching night that we go through a lot of scriptures. Just one verse will do the work in your life. Amen. We're looking at Isaiah chapter 53. And I'm reading from verse 1. Isaiah Chapter 53, we're reading from verse 1. Who has believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Look at that verse again. Who has believed our report? To them who believe the report, the arm of the Lord will be revealed. The arm of the Lord is the power of the Lord, is the might of the Lord, is the miracle working hand of God when it says the arm of the Lord is revealed. That means wonders will come with that arm. Power will come with that arm. 
authority that breaks every yoke and destroys every work of the devil will come with that arm. And the only condition is believe the report. And then the arm of the Lord will work mightily in your life. You see, the prophet said, who has believed our report? And to them, the arm, the power, the wonders, the glory of the Lord will be revealed. If you know a little of the Bible, you will understand that God gives a revelation to the prophet or to the man of God. And it comes to the people. And all they need to do is believe that report. Moses came to the children of Israel. They have been suffering for hundreds of years in Egypt. And then the Lord appeared to him. They were not there when God appeared to him. Nobody was there. Aaron, Miriam, all the children of Israel, all the people that were suffering, they were not there. But he came to them, he said God spoke to him. And he gave him a revelation. And he gave them that revelation, and they believed that report. Because they believed that report, that's why the arm of the Lord was revealed, and they came out of captivity. Tonight, as you believe the report I come to give to you, as you believe the revelation I open up to you, the power of the Lord will roll away all the years of problems and the caterpillars and evil spirits in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Now you see Jesus came to the land of Israel in the new covenant. And when he came, he came with a revelation. He came with a report. And when that report was given to them, Remember, for many, many years, actually between Malachi and Matthew, 400 years, nobody had seen blind eyes open, or the lame walking, or the power of God doing any miraculous, spectacular thing. But he came to them, he said, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me and has anointed me to preach the gospel, the good news to the poor, and to deliver the oppressed, and to break every yoke. And when they believed that report, and he told them, this day is this fulfilled in your ears. That's why blind eyes open like they're going to open today. And the deaf heard like they're going to hear today. And the lame rose up and walked because they believe the report. You are not looking at your problem. You are not looking at your mountain. You are not looking at your challenges. All you are looking at is the report you are hearing tonight. And as the report comes to you, and I read it to you from the word of God, and you say, I accept that. I believe that the arm of God eventually will work, immediately will work in your life in Jesus' name. Tonight, I'm talking to you on believe and receive great wonders. You hear the report, you believe it. You receive it. And then the arm of the Lord is revealed unto you. There will be great wonders in your life in Jesus' name. Three things we're looking at. Number one, the prophet's report. The prophet comes to you. The man of God comes to you is meant with the Lord and the Lord has revealed the report unto him and he comes and it is not a long thing just the report the prophet's report number two a personal revelation you accept that revelation you say yes I accept that I believe that that is mine as to make it a personal revelation point number two number three will come your present realization this is your day i said this is your day your present realization number one let's come to number one number one is the prophet's report look at i say again chapter 53 what is in there from verse 4? I say, chapter 53, 
reading from verse 4. It says, Surely he has borne our griefs. The children of Israel did not know that. Only the prophet knew that. And he came and he told them, Surely, assuredly, without any shadow of doubt, he has borne our griefs. He has carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. He's talking about Christ, the Lamb of God, that will come and take the sins of the world away. And he said, surely he has borne our griefs. Surely, there's no doubt. That was the report. If anybody was then saying, I still have sorrow, I still have sin, I still have oppression, I still have attack, I still have affliction, I still have incredible disease, he has missed the word, surely. Surely, tonight, he has borne your sickness. He has borne your grief. He has borne your punishment. It was for you he died on the cross of Calvary. And then it says, he has carried our sorrows. That's the report, that's the report. Once you understand all your sickness, all your, and your limp legs will receive strength, you will stand up, you will walk in Jesus' name. The guilt of sin, the oppression of sin, and the habit of sin will be broken totally in your life because he has carried that already. It's not something he's going to do in the future. He has done it. All you have to do is to accept, I believe that prophet's report. And as that is believed, your, pro your problems are solved in Jesus' name. Amen. Look at verse 5. In verse 5, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes. Somebody there tell me aloud. With the stripes were healed. That's the report. That's the report. Understand? It's not a difficult thing and it's not a complicated matter. We believe the report and then the arm of the Lord is revealed unto us. We believe the revelation that the man of God, the prophet of God, Isaiah, has written for us. And once you believe that, anywhere you are, as the word is coming to you now, that same moment that you believe the power of God will be revealed in your life in Jesus name and you are in a crusade somewhere and the power of God was working and there was a man actually an officer a police officer that brought a child and the child was dead the child had been hearing and speaking before but the child became sick after the sickness that deafness came on the child and uh, the message was still going on as I was saying point one and point two before I got to point three uh, the boy called he said daddy daddy look at this and daddy was surprised because that boy had not spoken for some years that miracle came because at the time the message was coming the, the glory of God the might of God and the power of God was already at work I will not be surprised at all I'm expecting that while the message is going on and you receive it in your heart and you believe it in your heart miracle will be happening before the end of the message the, the prophet's report look at uh, chapter uh, this uh, verse, verse 6 now in verse 6 it says all we like sheep have gone astray all we like sheep have gone astray and then it says we have turned everyone to his own way it's talking about what we were in the past it's talking about the way of the sinner it's talking about the people that leave the commandments of the lord apart and then they go their own way and they forsake the way of the lord and yet the love of god has manifested itself unto everyone and it says the lord has laid on him 
the Lord has laid on Christ, the Lord has laid on the Lamb of God, on our substitute. The moment you believe that report, all your sins are taken away. The, uh, the bondage of sin, uh, the oppression of sin, and the captivity of sin, and the habit of sin will be totally broken in, uh, in your life. It says the Lord himself has taken your sin, uh, has laid that on the Lord, and he says he has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Look at that verse in your Bible. What's the first word in your Bible? The verse there, tell me. What's the last word there? You are not speaking aloud for me to understand. But, uh, the first word in that verse, the last word in that verse, all means everybody. And that includes you. As you are hearing the report, maybe you feel the guilt of sin and the load of sin upon your life. And then you remember, here is the report. And remember, all you need is to believe the report and the arm of the Lord, the forgiveness of the Lord, the power that takes away sin will come in your life. All we like sheep have gone astray. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We have turned all of us, everyone to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him, has laid on Christ the iniquity of how many people? All people, the iniquity that you have committed, the sin you have committed, all the guilt is gone tonight. Amen. All the punishment is gone tonight. Amen. All the consequences are gone tonight. Amen. Because of the word all at the beginning, all at the end, forgiveness has come to you. Amen. And healing has come to you. Amen. Total deliverance has come unto you. And look at this, a wonderful verse in chapter 33 of Isaiah, and I'm reading from verse 24, Isaiah, chapter 33, verse 24, it says, And the inhabitant of the inhabitant shall not say, I am sick, because God takes all your sicknesses away. It takes all your diseases away. And so it says of all the people that believe that report, all of them, all of us, the inhabitants shall not say, I am sick. The people that dwell therein shall be forgiven their iniquity. That's the report. That's the report. And once you believe that report, you say, tonight I am forgiven. Tonight, my pain is taken away. Tonight, all the plague, all the consequences of sin, they're taken away. Christ has died for me. And because Christ died for me, I believe that report that he died on the cross of Calvary for me. Then all my sins are forgiven. I am forgiven. And then I am healed. It is yours. Amen. Where are you? It is yours in Jesus' name. Amen. And look at Isaiah chapter 35. We're reading from verse 5. Isaiah chapter 35. We're reading from verse 5. Look at verse 5. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened. Amen. The moment you believe that report, you're not waiting. I want, uh, you know, the pastor to come and touch me. I want uh, personal attention from the man of God. I want, the, once he tells you the report, and he says, Christ died for you on the cross of Calvary, and he took all your sins away, he took all your sicknesses away, the moment you believe that report, the eyes of the blind shall be opened, and the ears of the deaf shall be opened on stop those who are dead or those who are dumb healing deliverance is coming to everyone today in jesus name it will happen it has happened 
as you believe there will be manifestation in your life in Jesus name let's come to point number two now point number two is the personal revelation personal revelation there are people that take the report as yes I believe that yes I accept that but they take it as a general revelation you see when God tells you something and you believe that report you have to personalize it here came an angel and the angel said hail Mary you are blessed and favored and then Mary was shocked at the utterance at the revelation of the angel and then he said you will have a child how is it I will have a child? I don't even have any man. I've not met with a man. You see, there is the report. It becomes a revelation to you. And then eventually the angel said, it's not you. And it's not Joseph. And it's not science. It's not anything. But the Holy Ghost will overshadow you. And the power of God will come upon you. It is not by power, your personal power. It is not by might, your personal might. It is not by struggling. It is just to accept the report and make it personal. And eventually Mary said, be it unto me, personal, as you have spoken. Because with God, all things are possible. Anybody there? I said with God, all things are possible. And then immediately, Mary ran to Elizabeth. Elizabeth too, at old age, had become pregnant, expecting John the Baptist. And now, as she came to uh, Elizabeth, Elizabeth said something. She said, blessed are you because you believe there will be a performance of those things that you have believed when the thing the word comes to you and you make it personal and you say that's mine i'm going to receive that i've got my salvation today there will be no remembrance of sin in my life anymore. And there will be no remembrance of infirmity, of sickness, of whatever type, whatever they have called it. And they said, that's incurable. You are cured tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessed is she that believes. Blessed is she that believes. Because there shall be a performance of those things which you have believed. As you accept tonight... And you know God cannot lie as you accept tonight that Jesus Christ died for you, as you accept tonight that all your body, all your sin, all your sickness, everything is taken away. The moment you turn away from darkness, light will come in your life. The moment you turn away from your sin, salvation will come unto you. And then you turn away from the sickness, you are not looking at the symptoms, you are not saying it is here, it is there, I'm sick, I'm expecting that might happen, this might happen, you believe assuredly that you have a personal revelation and the Lord himself will do this great thing, new thing in your life in Jesus' name. Look at Isaiah chapter 43, I'm reading from verse 18. Isaiah chapter 43, and we're reading from verse 18. In verse 18 it says, Remember ye not the former things. Once this new revelation has come to you, and you personalize the revelation, it says, whatever it is that you knew before, the doctor said this, my people said this, I feel this in my body, and then I've been suffering like this and suffering like that. It's taken all these many years, and this is impossible, and this is incurable. Remember ye not the former things. All that happened before you came here today, and before this meeting today, remember ye not the former things. Neither consider the things of old. Some people say, I prayed before, don't consider the things of old. I fasted before, don't consider the things of old. I've gone there, I've gone there, I've tried this, I've tried that. It's not trying today. Today is the day of the walking of miracle in your life. It says, remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. 
Look at verse 19 now. In verse 19, behold, I will do a new thing. Yeah. When God says, I will, who can stand in his way? Satan cannot stand in his way. Demons cannot stand in his way. Your own thoughts cannot stand in his way. And the powers of darkness cannot stand in his way. When God says, I will, there's no impossibility. Amen. Tonight is that night. Amen. I rejoice with you. It will be done. Amen. It says, behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Amen. When will it spring forth? Now. Now it shall spring forth. And then it says, shall ye not know it? The Lord says, as for me, I'm ready. But then he's asking you, are you ready? I said, are you ready? Do you believe the report? Do you personalize the revelation? It says, it shall come to pass. I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Amen. Rivers in the desert. Amen. It's tonight. Amen. Your miracle, when is it? Amen. Your salvation, when is it? Amen. Your restoration, when is it? Amen. And the power of God in your life, when is it? Amen. At this very time, look at verse 25. In verse 25, it says, I, even I, I am he that blotted out thy transgression for mine own sake. It says, because I sent my only begotten son, and he has paid the full price for your salvation. It says, because of that, for my own sake, I blot out your transgression. That means then God derives joy in forgiving your sin. God derives joy in giving you salvation. He says, I do it for my sake. It makes me happy. I do it for my sake. It makes me fulfilled. I do it for my sake to forgive you. Yes, I know it's for you. It's your salvation. It's your blessing. But I do it for my own sake. The Lord is going to bless everyone tonight. And he says, I will not remember thy sins. I will not remember thy sins. He justifies you. He forgives you. He turns away every sin of guilt, every oppression, and every consequence and judgment of your sin. Tonight, he takes everything away. And he says, I'm doing that for my sake. I want to write your name in the book of life. I want this book of life to be filled up. I'm doing this for my sake. And because of that tonight, salvation is coming and forgiveness is coming. As you turn away from your sin and you say, Lord, I come. Lord, I come. You will find salvation is ready waiting for you. And you'll find that healing is already waiting for you. We're coming to Isaiah chapter 46, and I'm reading from verse 10. Isaiah chapter 46, we're reading from verse 10. Here is what the Lord is saying. He says, he declares the end from the beginning. What he will do at the end, he declares that at the beginning. Before you see it, before you do it, and before you touch it, before you feel it, it says he declares the end from the beginning. And from ancient of times, or from the ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand. Whatever purpose he has, he says, my purpose will stand. And I will do all my pleasure. It's a pleasure to him to save your soul. It's a pleasure to him to forgive your sin. It's a pleasure to him. It's not something you have to be crying and rolling on the ground. It's not something you send yourself to a temporary hell to go and suffer. I want to suffer for my sin. You don't have to do that. 
It says, before you ever knew me, I sent Jesus Christ, my only begotten son, the Lamb of God, to die for you. And before you ever knew about eternal life, I sent him to go and give you eternal life. It's for my pleasure, and I will fulfill all my pleasure. He'll do it in your life. Do you believe that report? I said, you believe that report. If you believe that report, the arm of the Lord and the forgiveness of the Lord and the goodness of the Lord will be revealed in your life. Look at verse 11. In verse 11, I mean in the second part, it says, Yea, I have spoken it. I will also bring it to pass. It says, Yes, yea. All right, surely I have spoken it. I will surely bring it to pass. That's why you want to make that a personal revelation. It says, I have purposed it. I will also do it. Amen. Tonight it is done. Amen. I said, Tonight it is done. Amen. Because he said, That's my purpose. That's my plan. That's the idea that myself have decided this is what I'm going to do and it is not, you know, a rigmarole and long of this, long that, long that, that is going to get it done. He does it tonight. Amen. You are saved tonight. Amen. You are healed tonight. Amen. You are delivered tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. We're coming to number three now and this number three is your present realization your present realization. Remember, there is a report, and that report is coming from the prophet. And you say, yes, I accept that report. I believe that report. I believe that when God has decided this is what to do, and I have that as a report, I know it's going to be done. And then you make it a personal revelation, personal revelation. And now the moment you join that report and the revelation together, there's going to be an explosion of miracle in your life in Jesus' name. Your present realization. How does that come? How do we have the present realization of what God has said, what God has spoken, and what God has offered? Let's look at Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18. Isaiah chapter 1, we're looking at verse 18. It says, come now. It says, you've had the report, and you accept that report, and you believe that report, Come now. He said, you've heard the prophet's report and you have made it a personal revelation and you know that whatever I ordain will come to pass. Whatever I purpose will come to pass. He says, then you can come. You can come. I'm ready for you and you are ready for God. I am ready. I said, I am ready. And that miracle of conversion, of restoration, of righteousness, of redemption will work in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Then come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. What does that mean? You come to God and then you say, Lord, you said that if I believe the report, the arm of the Lord will be revealed unto me. And God says, yes. You said the people of the land will not say I am sick because I will forgive their iniquity. And God says, yes. You said, come now. And I've come now. And I want what you have promised. And God says, yes. You see, when you make that report, a personal revelation, then you can come, you will not be disappointed. Amen. Ask and it shall be given unto you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Look at this. It says for everyone. How many people? Everyone. Am I included? Everyone. Are you included? Everyone that asketh receiveth, and everyone that seeketh findeth, 
and to him who knocks, the door will be open. He said, if you've been able not to give good things to your own children, how much more the creator of heaven and earth and the father of all creatures on earth will give good things. Forgiveness is good. Healing is good. Deliverance is good. He will give good things to them that ask him. I got it tonight. I said I got it tonight. You'll get it in Jesus' name. That's why it says, then come now. If you got it tonight, come now and get it. If you know that revelation is not personal, come now and receive. If you know that this is going to be your moment of realization, it says, come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. Do your sins be as college, very deep, and it has stained your life. It has stained your business, your seeds have stained every good thing in your life. He said, though your seeds be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. They shall be as white as snow. Guilt will go away tonight. Condemnation will go away tonight. Judgment and curse will go away tonight. Everything you've been struggling with, I'm a terrible sinner, I'm a bad sinner, I don't know what I will do again, I don't think I can ever get saved. All that has changed tonight in Jesus' name. Because it says, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. And though they be red like crimson, it says they shall be as wool. White as wool, white as snow. There's no stain, there's no guilt, there's no condemnation remaining in your heart tonight again in Jesus' name. You've got it. I said you've got it. Salvation, restoration, redemption, the breaking of every yoke and the healing of every sickness and every infirmity and that weakness in your life, everything going away tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Look at Isaiah chapter 45, we're reading from verse 21 and verse 22. Isaiah chapter 45, we're reading from verse 21. He said, tell ye and bring them near. Tell them and bring them near. He said, those who have been feeling guilty and they are far away and they say, God is holy, I am sinful, I cannot come near to God, I cannot approach God. He said, go and tell them that the day of good news has come and the day of the gospel has now come. Nobody needs to stay away. Tell them, bring them near ye. Let them take counsel together who has declared this from ancient time who has told it from that time have i not have not i the lord and there is no god else beside me a just god and a savior a just god and a savior a just god and a savior the savior is here tonight he will save your soul he will take the burden of sin away. He will break the yoke and the power of sin away from your life tonight in Jesus' name. He says, there is none beside me. No other savior, there is none beside me. No other redeemer, there is none beside me. There is no other one that can work a miracle in your life than the almighty God. He said, there is none beside me. There is no one that can defeat the devil and break every affliction of the devil away from your life like him. He says, there is none beside me. Now that we have got that, we have got the prophet's report and we believed that prophet's report and the arm of the Lord is about to be revealed to every individual and whatever the problem is, the arm of the Lord is mighty tonight, he'll take a
everything away in Jesus' name. And then we have made it a personal revelation. I'm not waiting for a dreamer anymore. I've got a personal revelation. After the angel spoke to Mary, Mary did not go to a corner waiting for a dream or waiting for a vision or waiting for any other instruction. He said, she said, I got it and God is going to do it in my life. The same thing with you. Once you've got the revelation tonight and you make it a personal revelation, personal revelation, you know that your time of uh, fulfillment has now come. My time of fulfillment has come. My time of miracle has come. My time of redemption has come. And the time of healing, deliverance, my time of healing and deliverance has come. Your time has come in Jesus' name. The moment you make it a personal revelation, it becomes a present reality, a present realization in your life. Isaiah chapter 45, look at verse 22 there. Verse 22 tells us, it says, look unto me. Don't look at your pain, look unto me. Don't look at the doctor's report, that thing is of old, and the Lord said, don't remember that anymore. Don't look at your condition, look unto me. Don't look at your weakness, I've been committing that sin, I know I want to tell your pastor, I'm a drunkard, don't look at that. I'm a chain smoker, don't look at that. I am this, I am that, don't look at that. The report has come to you. A revelation has come to you. And now there's going to be a realization in your life, even tonight, in Jesus' name. Amen. Look unto me and be ye saved. Look unto me and be ye saved. You see how simple that, and that is? There was a time the children of Israel had seen that, and serpents came from everywhere and from nowhere. And and the serpents were biting them. And then they came to Moses in repentance. They came to Moses in sorrow for their sin. And then they said, pray for us. And Moses prayed for them. And the Lord said, raise up a fairy serpent upon a pole. And then he said, everyone that is bitching, everyone that is bitching, tell them, look on the brazen serpent. That's the, the prophet's report. And then they made it a personal revelation. Each one looking to that brazen serpent. The moment they looked, all the pains were gone. And all the results and the consequences of the affliction, everything passed away. And you know what Jesus said? Jesus said, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so, must the Son of Man be lifted up that whosoever, that's you, whosoever, say that's me, whosoever, where are you, whosoever looketh on that, on that serpent, that he is on Christ, who has become our substitute, will be saved, will not perish. Amen. Congratulations tonight, you will not perish. Amen. And you will not die of that whatever sickness in Jesus' name. Yeah. And I'm speaking to those who are in all those other locations and you are hearing we are connected together now. I want to assure you that your time of the present realization has come and you are delivered in Jesus' name. Yeah. Look unto him and be you saved. All the ends of the earth, all the ends of the earth, anywhere you are on the globe, look unto him right now. He says, for I am God and there is none else. I am God and what no other one can do, I'm going to do for you at this time. What no other one can solve, the problems they cannot solve. That problem is solved here tonight in Jesus' name. Your present realization. My time has come. I said my time has come. 
And as you believe, your time has come. Be it unto you according to your faith in Jesus' name. Amen. It is done. Amen. Anyone that calls on the name of the Lord tonight to have guilt of sin, you sense the punishment of sin, you sense the fact that you are not right with God. He says, look unto me and be ye saved. As you look up to the Lord tonight, you are saved in Jesus' name. Amen. Anyone that is having a burden of sickness, a burden of infirmity, and a burden of affliction and oppression, look unto me and be ye delivered tonight. As you look on the Lord, you'll be delivered in Jesus' name. Amen. Any incurable disease, incurable affliction in your life tonight, it says, look unto me and be ye healed and delivered all the ends of the earth for I am God and there is none else that deliverance and that release has come for you tonight in Jesus name. Amen. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. Blessed is he that believeth. There shall be a performance of those things that he has believed. A performance in your life tonight. Amen. If you can stand up, you can you stand up. If you cannot stand up, don't worry while you're sitting down. That salvation will come to you, and that healing will come to you, and that manifestation of the power of God will come to you tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Eyes bowed and eyes closed. You remember the report? It says all we like sheep have gone astray we have gone everyone his own way and the lord god almighty has laid the iniquity of us all on him the lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all you want the salvation of the lord you want the forgiveness of the Lord, and you want the body and the guilt of sin to be taken away. You want the power of sin to be broken in your life, so that God releases you to live in newness of life. Heads bowed and eyes closed, wherever you are, just raise up your hand, and it tells you, as you believe the report, make it a personal revelation, there will be a present realization of salvation in your life. Where are you? Raise up your hand. You are at the gallery. You are at the ground floor. Anywhere you are, I want forgiveness. I want salvation. I want total redemption. I don't want to carry guilt away from here. Remember that you've got the report. You make it a personal revelation. And now there's going to be a realization in your life. Where are you? Let's see your hands. You're asking for the forgiveness of God. You're asking for the salvation of God. You're asking for his redemption. Wherever you are, just raise up your hand. If you are outside, our ushers will meet you there. Just raise up your hand. And in all the states, in all the regions where we are connected together, just raise up your hand over there. Even if you're at home, you're all by yourself. Raise your hand to the Lord. You are indicating, I'm looking unto him. Is the only one that can save. Raise up your hand wherever you are and then raise up your heart to the Lord and say, Lord, I know I've got that prophet's report. It says you have laid all my iniquity and all my sin. You have laid everything on Christ and they will not come back to me anymore. Everything is blotted out. My sins like crimson, my sins like uh, scarlet uh, wool. It says they'll all be washed and cleansed and everything will become totally clean. Tell the Lord there, I accept that. Blessed is she that believed. Blessed is she that believed. There will be a performance of those six that were told her or told him from the Lord. A performance right now. The Lord is writing your name in the book of life right now. He's lifting the body. Is lifting the guilt, is taking the condemnation away right now. Salvation has now come. Just say, Lord, I come to you. You told me to come. 
and I come. You told me to call upon you, and I've called. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. I believe. I believe. I believe I am saved right now. It's done. It's done. Accept that personal realization. Personal realization. Your salvation has now come. I'm going to pray for you now. Keep your hand up. Keep your hand up. I mean, your mind, you're looking to the Lord, the only Savior, is the only one that can save. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you because your word will never fail. Whatever your purpose will be done. Whatever you have declared will be done. And nobody can contradict what you have determined and decided to do. I ask, O oh Lord, according to your promise, forgive all their sins in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, the guilt and the condemnation of their past sin will be taken away right now in Jesus' name. And the assurance of forgiveness, the assurance of salvation, the assurance of being your children now with no guilt of sin, give everyone that assurance now in Jesus' name. Let your spirit bear witness, testimony with their heart that all those sins are taken away. They're free now. There's a new power. There's the grace of God in their lives. And now the grace to live in righteousness, in newness of life, grant to everyone in Jesus' name. It is done. It is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Our ushers and leaders are there nearby. Uh, we need to give you some cards. You fill in the card and put all the information there that uh, we're requesting. It will help us to keep on praying for you and to keep on checking up on you that all the promises of God will be fulfilled in your life. As we're doing this here, we're doing this in every region now, and we're doing this in every location, every group and every locality and district. We're doing this now. Take the names of those who have given their lives to the Lord and they believe the report. It made it a personal revelation and they have got a present realization. Their sins are now forgiven. They're now children of God and they have the joy of salvation and the reality of redemption in their lives now. Take the names and um, we're getting ready to pray for every sickness to vanish away. You have a testimony tonight. I didn't just say somebody has a testimony. You have a testimony tonight. Your deaf ears will open. Your blind eyes will see. And if you are there lying on the ground helpless, all you need to do, you have heard the prophet's report. And you know it came to you directly. There's a personal revelation. You are not looking at the sickness. You are not looking at your weakness. You are not looking at your impossibility. God is going to raise you up today. And all those powers of darkness and powers of evil against your life, everything will be shattered tonight in Jesus' name. I believe the report. I make it a personal revelation. I'm going to experience the present realization. It's coming. Let's have all the names uh, taken. And then we're ready to pray. And as we pray, this is what God said he will do. Voluntarily, he said he will do it. Happily, he said he will do it. It's his pleasure. He does that for his own sake. He heals you for his own sake. He raises you up for his own sake. He is happy doing it. 
is happy opening the eyes of the blind is happy making the deaf to hear is happy making the lame to rise up and jump up and begin to walk and begin to run he is happy to do that and because that is what he's happy to do every time we give him a chance and we say yes lord i'm here i give you the chance i want you to be happy with my life and i want you to raise me up tonight it has come to you have we got all the names? Well, one of our leaders, uh, whoever is in charge of taking the names, can you give us indication that that is done? And then, uh, want to get into the pleasure of the Lord in healing the sick and destroying the works of the devil. Are we through with that? Any of our leaders to inform us we've done that? We're through. We're through and now we're ready. Somebody there has said we're ready. Yeah. Remember how miracles come. Miracles do not come by, you know, shouting, shouting, shouting and then, you know, running here and there. All we need to do, it says who has believed our report, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed. And then he begins to tell us what the arm of the Lord will do. He'll open the eyes of the blind. He'll make the dead to hear. He'll bring him in and total deliverance. And as you are there tonight, anywhere you are, we're going to pray now. And we're just praying that God will do what he loves to do. It's pleasure. It will happen to you. Yeah. I want to hear your testimony tonight. Yeah. From all those locations, all those regions, all those states, Tonight is the time of your testimony. Yeah. You have any problem, if you brought anyone deaf or dumb, get near them, lay your hand on them. And if you brought anyone blind, get near to them, and then you can lay your hand on them. Whatever you do, just stay near them. You have anyone that is impotent, paralyzed, helpless, and it's there on the ground, and it does not have the strength to stand up, just get near. You don't have to do anything. You know? It's what the Lord will do. I said it's what the Lord will do. Yeah. And then after the prayer, after the final amen, the Lord would have done what he will do. Yeah. And you will see, and you will hear, and we will rejoice together in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's pray now. And if you have any problem, personal problem, apart from what we have mentioned, just lay your hand upon yourself. Cancer will be healed. Amen. Tuberculosis will go away. Amen. Heart attack will be dealt with. Amen. Infertility will be dealt with. Every challenge you have will be taken away. Amen. God has pleasure in working miracles. Amen. And we we'll just give him the chance. We'll say, do as you have said. Let's pray together. After the final amen, you'll do what you were not able to do before. That miracle power will be there unleashed upon your life. Amen. Father, in Jesus' name, amen. We thank you because of the report you have given us. The pastor, the prophet's report that you have laid our iniquity, our sickness, our infirmity, all our problems, you have laid everything upon Christ. And by his stripes we are healed. And therefore I bring everyone here, everyone over there, everyone everywhere now, I bring them in connection with your power. I pray, Lord, heal them in Jesus' name. Oh, 
open their blind eyes in Jesus' name. Unstop their deaf ears in Jesus' name. And loosen their tight tongues in Jesus' name. And those who have crossed eyes, I pray you straighten those eyes in Jesus' name. And those who have any oppression, any attack, affliction of the devil walking about in the body, Lord, according to your power, the authority of your name, and the anointing of your spirit, I pray, Lord, that you destroy all those works of the devil in Jesus' name. Anywhere Satan is operating, insanity is operating, madness is operating, I command that power and that work of the devil, insanity, madness, come out in Jesus' name. Lord, incurable disease like cancer, like tuberculosis, any other kind of incurable disease, I pray the Lord will touch you right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray everywhere here, everywhere outside there, everywhere in all the districts and all the groups, in all the regions and in all the states, Lord, manifest your power now in Jesus' name. What you said you will do, that you will heal the sick, you will deliver the oppressed right now, do it in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, there will be a present realization, a present miracle, a present performance. Effect it in every life in Jesus' name. Lord, we accept, we believe, we're sure it is done. And we'll see, we'll rejoice together in Jesus' name. I thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. It has happened. The Lord has done it. Now, praise the Lord. Now, you will, it's good to clap. But you know, the clap will come later now. After you check up yourself. If you brought anybody blind, show them something to see, they'll see. You brought anybody deaf and dumb, speak to them, they will hear. You brought anybody that had identifiable problem, definite problem, talk to them, examine them. The Lord has done it. The Lord has done it. And as you see that miracle in all the various locations, all the various states, all the various regions, indicate we we'll rejoice together with you.
You have started receiving your own. I have started receiving my own. I have received my own divine solution. You are the first partaker. And the blessing we abide in your life in Jesus' name. Yes, quickly, anybody there? Can the leaders please? Do we have uh, people that have come? We are waiting for you quickly. Come, stand up wherever you are. You have seen the miracle of God in your life. What you couldn't do before, do it now where you had the challenge before. Check it up now and come out. Come and share your testimony. Come and give glory to the great God of heaven. Put the devil to shame. Yes, quickly, quickly. We are waiting for you. Where are you? Come to this side. Come to this side where I'm pointing to now, the left hand side, this side. And our leaders will meet with you, interview you, and we want to listen to your testimony. We want to hear what the Lord has done. And in all our various locations, let's check up. Anyone with testimony, please indicate to the media section so that you can be spotlighted. Any of our locations, nor the FCT, wherever you may be now, report to your pastor there, report to the leaders, and tell them what the Lord has done. We want to hear your testimony. Yes, we're waiting, we're waiting. Our God has done it. Our God has done it. Let's give God the glory. Sing it with confidence. He has done it for me. He has done for me. What my friends could not do. What my money could not do. Sing it with faith. He has done it for me. Christ has done it for me, he has done for me, what my parents could not do, what my friends could not do, amen. Yes, testifiers, anyone there, has anyone reported, we're still waiting, all right, we will want to pass some information across and if you know you've gotten your miracle report there quickly as we pass this information actually a reminder of some of the things that have been passed across before and also an emphasis on some of the things we already know we're starting the crusade tomorrow what time we have some testimonies online what time 5 p.m. And what Two. time are you going to be here? From morning Praise the Lord. Hours, Pastor, hours, testimony you, online. You come, the places are... We have testimony online for here. You, waiting for you. As we have testimony as online. Good. Testimony online. Let's, let's uh, quickly take... Testimony online. online. Testimony, yes. From online, we have testimonies coming in of the goodness of God from the revival service tonight. Chioma wrote, I thank God for removing the pain in my neck and sealing up the hole in my navel. Jesus has done it. Praise mighty Jesus. Hallelujah. Osayewa Prosper also wrote, Amen. I have received my healing from God. Johnson Atom wrote, God has healed my father. A Juja, I give all glory to God. Praise the Lord. Bumi Oyenekon wrote, 
I received my total turnaround. Praise the Lord. And finally, Ndidi Eke said, I am healed from every sickness. Amen. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. The Lord has started working wonders. He is a miracle. Sing it, sing it. He is a miracle. Working God. Now, take note of this. He is the Alpha and He has started already. And He will complete it. Sing that chorus again and give God the glory. Put your hands together as you sing. He's a miracle walking God. He's a miracle walking God. He's the Alpha and Omega. He's a miracle walking God. Sing it again. Miracle walker. He's a miracle walking God. He's the Alpha and Omega. He's a miracle walking God. Amen. Give me a miracle solution. Amen. Yes, we have started receiving the great God of heaven, the mighty God has started it already tonight with this ministration. The Alpha has started it. And he's the Omega. He will complete it. And by the end of this program, all the miracle you need, you will receive. All the solution you have been expecting in your life, in your family, in your spiritual life, in your business, in your finance, you will receive. If you believe, shout a louder, Amen! A louder, greater, bigger. Amen. Our great God will do it for us. And our solution will be full. Our solution will be complete. Let me start from there. Five over five. What does that imply? How many days program? And how many days are you supposed to be here? How many days will you be here? Five days out of how many days? Then what percentage is that? Hundred. Your blessing will be hundred percent. Your miracles will be hundred percent. Your joy will be hundred percent. In the name of Jesus. So I want to emphasize all of us here, all of us that are hearing in all our various regions and locations, please take note. Not one over five. Not two, three, four, but what? Five out of, tell me again, five out of everybody. Five out of five. And that's 100%. And you get full blessings in Jesus' name. So don't pick and choose which day to be there, to be here in the program, and which day not to be there. 